Yes, guys. So I'm so excited to talk to you about this knife. This is the Pickled Steel Wahoo. And as I mentioned in the, the previous video, I said that I am going to be doing uh, a review on the three knives that I showed and told you about <laughs> in the previous video. And this is going to be the first one. It is a Pickled Steel Wahoo. And I am absolutely in love with the name. I enjoy spear fishing. It is one of my biggest hobbies. And so to have a knife that kind of uh, combines my passion for knives and my knife hobby with spear fishing is a dream come true. And this does remind me of the fish, of the Wahoo fish. The Wahoo is a trophy fish in spear fishing circles. And it is something that um, very few spear fishermen has had the opportunity to shoot. So I'm excited to, to have a, a Wahoo in my pocket and to one day maybe, you know, be able to shoot that amazing fish. So it's a good thing to to uh, to have in my pocket, just so that I can keep that goal in mind that I have for my for myself and for uh, my spear fishing <laughs> uh, efforts. So let's talk about this knife because this is a very interesting knife. There are so many different aspects about this knife that I love, and yeah, it is it is a thing of beauty. So let's first start with the blade. What do you think about when you see this blade shape? You know, I think about. A steak knife that is what i think about about when i see this blade shape it is a very versatile blade shape very user um friendly very all around just all rounder great blade shape you can do food prep with this knife you can do uh, cutting rope with, you can cut rope with this knife you can um, use it as a braai knife you know it is fantastic for opening up packages and boxes and there is basically nothing that you cannot use this knife for in an everyday scenario okay when we get to survival knives that sort of thing we're talking about something different but this is a good knife to carry around every day because it is perfect for just about everything you will face on an everyday basis if you are just a normal person not buying these knives as a, a tool for your business as with like a plumber or electrician or something like that you know even in those scenarios it will be a good blade to have in your arsenal in my opinion now with this blade shape okay what i love is that it is plain and simple and uncomplicated with today's knives what do we have we have this sheep's foot we have the modified reverse tanto sheep's foot into a drop point spear point it is getting crazy okay one cleaver modified to be a tanto blade into a sheep's foot kind of vibe it is just <laughs> i mean it's fantastic i love it and I love all the different blade shapes. They all have a purpose. They are all specializing in certain aspects. But for me, it is just very nice to, to kind of get back to basics and just get a knife that might not do food prep as well as a, a, a cleaver, um, you know, and maybe won't pierce as nice as a spear point blade shape or something like that. But it's just kind of, it can do everything. It's not going to do it as good as something else but it will be able to to just do everything and it is uncomplicated it is non-threatening it is plain and simple and it is beautiful and that is what i appreciate about the wahoo's blade another thing that i appreciate and that is just um something that i need to point out with this blade shape what is the weak part of this blade it has to be the tip right especially on a shape like this it has to be the tip um when we have a wand cleaver or something like that then you know the tip is can be quite reinforced with a reverse tanto shape it can be really reinforced and tanto shapes or provide strong tips you know so with a blade like this we we can have some concerns with that tip breaking but do you think this is the first knife that pickled steel has made no hell no they know what they're doing and they know what the weakness is with regards to this blade so that is interesting to see what they actually came up with to help reinforce that tip. So as you can see, it has a two angled grind, which creates this sort of a bevel structure, triangular structure. And this structure runs down towards the point and meets at the point on both sides, which creates this kind of a triangular, triangular pyramid shape structure that provides reinforcement from three different um, points or three different sides. So that is fantastic. That they thought about that that they they didn't just give us a knife a beautiful knife with a beautiful blade shape no they actually said hey how are we gonna give them a knife for life that is what this company is about 
they are not satisfied with just pushing product. They want to push product because they believe in themselves. They believe that they are offering the best for their customers. And I agree. I think they really do. Um, so yeah, yeah, on my sticker, it actually says no, no knife, no life. And, and I think they live by that, you know, um, they give you a knife for life. So beautiful uh, invention there or uh, innovation with, with how to deal with that uh, area that uh, could have been a, a weak spot. Now, is it still the weakest spot on the blade? Probably it still is, but it's at least, let's say, 30% stronger now than it was before. So that's great. That's fantastic. Let's continue with the, the finish on this blade. It is a, a stone wash finish on a D2 blade. And I, first off, looks wise, I enjoy the, the gray shade of the stone wash with the gray shade that the shredded carbon inlays on the G10 handles provide. Um, I think they look extremely good together. And then secondly, with a stone wash, you have the excellent opportunity to hide your scratches on your blade you know it, it kind of provides a camouflage for blade scratches with a let's say a satin finish as with a honey badger you will instantly see if there is a scratch there um, now this honey badger is still in great shape and i do tend to take very good care of my knives and remove scratches as well as i can when i see them but when there is a scratch on this knife you will see it absolutely instantly so that's good with the the, the stone wash finish on this blade because this is very much a gentleman's carry knife also you know you can for sure carry this thing around at a fancy dress fancy event and um, it will it will definitely fit the bill it's non-threatening it's beautiful it's a conversation starter it's a usable practical knife um, yeah eye catcher for sure so just an awesome knife for actually every event and um, I think that is why it is probably a, a fantastic EDC and the best selling knife from Pickled Steel because it just offers you so much and I think with the stone wash finish and it being sort of a knife which can be used for a fancy dress or a, a important event you know it, it does reduce the scratches on the blade so the knife will not look as worn it will not look um, you know beat up as, as quickly and as easily which is fantastic. So yeah, let's talk about this accent. The accent is fantastic on, on this knife, especially with these shredded carbon scales. It is beautiful. I also like it on the Joker. I like it on the Ghost. Um, there's some other models that also has the Spacer Washer accent. And I think it adds a very nice touch to, um, to this knife. Uh, it, looks, it looks extremely nice or extremely good with those um, carbon fiber scales really nice it adds a great touch and without it yes it would have looked well but um i definitely prefer prefer it to be there and uh, it's kind of it draws the eye and then it draws the eye to what's going on around around it you know it's like what's that and then you see the stone wash you see the beautiful blade shape you see the um the carbon fiber uh, inlays awesome 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 stuff so yeah then we get the carbon fiber inlays with g10 handles and i think in the previous video i said that these were carbon fiber but they're actually g10 with carbon fiber inlays and i think i prefer that because g10 offers extreme uh, resistance against wear and tear so um, a very good material to use this blade has, or knife has absolutely no flex um, it has a very nice stainless steel pocket clip for deep carry um, perfect edc knife in my opinion uh, good uh, solid stainless steel liners and they are skeletonized and they are strategically skeletonized and once again once again guys that is the thing that you get with pickled steel it's not just oh we need to skeletonize the liners they they actually think about hey how, am, how are we going to skeletonize these liners to offer stability but also reduce the weight other companies they just cut the liners they don't care where it's at they they just cut freaking holes in the liners and then they're like okay the weight is reduced it's great they have strategically thought out where to cut these liners because at the back of the knife you see a, a larger part of the liners are skeletonized and then at the front actually in the middle yeah or at the front of the handle where you would usually press harder where you would feel that flex um with for instance a honey badger you know you would feel that flex it is not skeletonized as much 
So it does create extra stability in those areas. So they actually thought out where to skeletonize the liners, which is, I mean, guys, come on, for what is this knife worth? 700 Rand? If you buy it on auction, it's even less. And you're getting a really well thought out knife, which is great. Um, good, good action, ball bearing system, works very well. It has a flipper tab. As I mentioned in previous videos, I do prefer a thumb stud or thumb hole for reverse flick because that's how I like to open knives. But the flipper tab uh, works very well. And I think on this knife, I would prefer it to only have a flipper tab with the, the structure and the shape um, of this knife and also the, the thickness. It is a, quite a slim knife, so it will fit great in the pocket. It's not a very heavy knife. And let's just compare with, a, let's say, the, the Honey Badger Large. The Honey Badger Large is nearly double the size in, in width of, of the Wild. So it will take a lot more space in the pocket. Now the Honey Badger does not bother me in my pocket. So I can only imagine that this knife, this Wild, and well, I don't have to imagine, I have experienced it, it just disappears in my personal pocket, you know. I do have to say that sometimes I, you know, I struggle to get my phone into my into the same pocket that I have my large honey badger in. So I enjoy I enjoy what this knife offers. It offers me the ability to put more things in my pocket and um, also take them out <laughs> easier. So very sturdy pocket clip, same pocket clip as with the Joker. Um, if you have not seen that video, please go check out the video on the Joker. The Joker is also a phenomenal knife. Uh, these liners are not recessed, but they do not stick out. Okay, so um, just even with the G10 scales and offers great grip, great stability. Um, it is very a, com uh, a very comfortable knife to hold in hand and yeah, just very user friendly. So that is the Pickle Steel Wahoo. It is 20 centimeters long. It has, a, I think, about a nine and a half centimeter cutting edge, which is awesome. Um, so you're getting a lot. You're getting a large knife. It's going to fit most hands unless you have like super giant hands um, but it's going to fit most hands and it's it's the perfect size for me uh, it's a good good uh, knife pocket knife it is large so you can use it for various things but it is not in the way and and that is that's what you want that's exactly what you want with every pocket knife <laughs> okay guys thank you for watching this pick up a wahoo whoopsie that was into the table pick up a wahoo in D2 from Pickled Steel, check out www.pickledsteel.co.za because knives give you an edge. Thank you.